Hey guys, Rambo here with a no baloney guide to the Archaeologist colon card challenge for Dead Ops or K3. In order to complete this challenge, you'll have to visit each of the four deadly dungeons, and then use the second exit ladder for each of those dungeons, rather than using the ladder that appears in the starting room area. The layouts for deadly dungeons are randomly generated in each game, so I can't give you any exact tips on which path to take in order to get to the second ladder. But I will say that you don't have to explore each room in a dungeon for this colon card. Just keep navigating until you find the second ladder, take it, and that counts as exploring the dungeon. Sometimes when you get close to this exit ladder, or even at the very beginning, an icon will appear which shows you the direction in which it's located in. All four deadly dungeons can be accessed in the wild area that appears after completing round four. The first one, Crypts of Chamaro, is located towards the beginning of the wild, a little bit past the first set of ground spikes. The second one, Terrors of Terempi, requires using two keys to open these two doors just past the abandoned temple. You'll have to keep walking north for quite some time before you come across this flogger. Pass it, go to this river area, and to your right will be that dungeon. The third dungeon requires you to keep going north after exiting the previous dungeon. Grab a buggy car, and then drive to this castle area, which requires a key to open as well. Then there will be a hole in this room to your right. Drop down it to enter the third dungeon called Grotte della Dorta. The fourth and final dungeon is located towards the top of the volcano, which will require a couple extra keys to open towards. Cross over the bridge over here, and you'll be able to access the fourth dungeon called Lair du Airs. It is worth noting that if you decide to use the teleporter after exiting the first deadly dungeon, you will then be able to access the remaining dungeons after rounds 20 and 36. So I would suggest trying to do it with the round 4 shortcut instead. If this video is helpful, don't forget to drop a like. Thanks for watching.